Before stainless steel became the ubiquitous, shiny, and corrosion-resistant metal we see in kitchen skyscrapers and surgical instruments today, there was a long and fascinating history of human innovation with metals. The story of what came before stainless steel is a tale of trial and error, of human ingenuity battling nature's elements. From the early days of basic ironworking to the development of more complex alloys, the journey to stainless steel is layered with rich technological and cultural milestones. Let's explore, right here on History of Simple Things. Let's go back to ancient times, well before stainless steel was even conceivable. The earliest known use of iron dates back to around 1200 BCE, during what is now referred to as the Iron Age. Iron was a major advancement over bronze, which had dominated the previous era. Bronze, made from copper and tin, was relatively soft and prone to wear. But iron, though more difficult to smelt, was stronger and more abundant. Early civilizations learned to forge it into tools and weapons that were tougher and more effective than anything that came before. However, early iron had one significant weakness. It rusted. People in ancient times didn't know about oxidation on a chemical level, but they knew that iron left exposed to air and moisture eventually turned brittle and flaked away. The problem of rust plagued iron tools and structures for centuries. Despite this, iron remained indispensable due to its strength and availability. The metal was used extensively in the construction of tools, agricultural equipment, weaponry, and eventually even architectural structures. Over time, blacksmiths began experimenting with different ways to improve the durability of iron. One major breakthrough came in the form of wrought iron. This was iron that was worked repeatedly with hammers while hot, removing much of its carbon content. Wrought iron was more ductile and less brittle, making it ideal for things like nails, chains, and railings. But it still rusted over time. Alongside wrought iron, another form of iron called cast iron emerged. This was iron with a high carbon content, which made it very hard but also brittle. Cast iron found widespread use in construction, piping, and even cookware. Again, the corrosion issue remained unresolved. Then came steel, the key precursor to stainless steel. Steel is essentially iron alloyed with a small amount of carbon. This combination results in a material that is both strong and flexible. The ability to produce steel reliably, however, didn't happen overnight. For centuries, steel making was a laborious process carried out by skilled artisans in small batches. Techniques varied from region to region. In ancient India, for example, there was the creation of Wootz steel, which was renowned for its strength and unique patterns. This steel would later inspire the famous Damascus steel used in Middle Eastern sword making. In China, iron and steel production were also developing in tandem. As early as the 4th century BCE, Chinese metallurgists were producing cast iron, and learning how to control carbon levels during production. Meanwhile, in medieval Japan, swordsmiths were creating high-quality steel blades using complex folding and forging techniques. All these innovations laid the groundwork for the metallurgical science that would eventually lead to stainless steel. The real game-changer came in the 19th century during the Industrial Revolution. It was during this time that steel production began to scale dramatically thanks to the Bessemer process, invented by Henry Bessemer in the 1850s. This method allowed for the mass production of steel by blowing air through molten pig iron to remove impurities. Suddenly, steel became cheaper, more accessible, 
and widely used in everything from railway tracks to ships and buildings. But the problem of corrosion still lingered. To combat rust, engineers and builders often coated steel or iron with protective layers, such as painting, galvanizing with zinc, or even tin plating. These methods helped, but they weren't permanent solutions. Corrosion remained a constant threat, especially in applications involving moisture, chemicals, or salt, like marine environments and food processing. This brings us to the early 20th century and the invention of stainless steel. In 1913, a British metallurgist named Harry Brearley was experimenting with new types of steel for gun barrels when he stumbled upon a particular alloy containing about 12.8% chromium. He noticed something remarkable. Unlike other steels, this one didn't rust when exposed to the elements. What Brearley had discovered was the corrosion-resistant property of chromium, which forms a thin, invisible oxide layer on the surface of the steel, protecting it from further oxidation. Stainless steel was born. So, what came before stainless steel? The answer isn't just one metal or process, it's an entire lineage of metallurgical progress. From the basic smelting of iron ore by ancient civilizations, to the forging of carbon steel by skilled blacksmiths, to the industrial scale production of steel in the 19th century, every step was a crucial part of the evolution. Each advance was driven by the need for materials that could withstand time, elements, and usage without falling apart. Even today, the legacy of pre-stainless steel materials remains all around us. Wrought iron fences still decorate historic neighborhoods. Cast iron pipes continue to serve in older infrastructure. Carbon steel remains widely used in construction and manufacturing due to its high strength and low cost. Stainless steel didn't replace these materials entirely. Rather, it added to the toolbox of modern engineering, offering a solution for applications where corrosion resistance is paramount. It's also important to appreciate that the development of stainless steel didn't end in 1913. Since then, many variations have been developed, each tailored for specific needs. Whether it's the surgical grade stainless used in hospitals, the high temperature alloys used in jet engines, or the food safe versions used in commercial kitchens. All of these are direct descendants of a long history of trial, discovery, and refinement in metallurgy. So next time you grab a stainless steel fork or walk past a gleaming metal elevator, remember, it's not just the product of one invention, but of thousands of years of human innovation and perseverance. What came before stainless steel? A whole world of iron, sweat, fire, and determination. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.